Hi, welcome to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Mary Louise Van Atta. And we're talking about art, the whole world of art, but right here in Salem, we're going to be talking about a gem, Halley Ford Museum of Art. And to help us today, we have the two people who can tell us about how you learn more and what it takes to run the place. <laughs> how about that? The museum itself, what is it connected to? Well, I'm at university, am I correct? Uh, yes, uh, the Halley Ford Museum of Art was started in 1998, mm -hmm. so we're 16 years old uh, as uh, the Museum of Art for Willamette University, but at the same time, we also envision ourselves as uh, the Museum of Art for Salem and really the whole mid Willamette Valley. And you have permanent collections as well as uh, rotating exhibits, am I correct? We have an encyclopedic collection <laughs> of uh, <laughs> world art. We have Egyptian, uh, Greek and Roman, medieval, Asian, uh, 19th and 20th century European and American. We have a growing collection of, uh, of African uh, and Papua New Guinea art. We have Native American art. We have uh, both historic as well as contemporary regional art. So it is truly an encyclopedic collection. So this collection. sounds more than, uh, and I've lived in Salem my whole life, more than that we see lots of art galleries, we see art hanging up in wineries. Uh, this sounds like kind of a pretty big deal. Oh, this it is. I mean, it, it, we're, we're, we're comparable to the, on a smaller scale, mm -hmm. to places like the Portland Art Museum, the Seattle Art Museum, I mean, even even the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but we're on a, on a on obviously nice. a Salem scale. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> wonderful. But you have a pretty nifty reputation. What is it? It's something from the uh, west of the Mississippi you are? We're the largest uh, university art museum uh, north of um, Berkeley, California, and west of uh, Minneapolis. <laughs> really? So, yeah, it's a, um, I think it's a, a fairly significant accomplishment, considering we're only uh, 16 years old. That's wonderful. So, but we, uh, over the years, we have, uh, in addition to having this wonderful collection of, uh, of um, you know, European, Asian, and American art, uh, I think we've really developed a, a, an outstanding reputation for being able to bring uh, world-class exhibitions to uh, to Salem. I mean, in the past, we've shown everything from Greek and Roman art, Egyptian art, Maori weaving, Italian drawings, uh, most recently ancient Near Eastern art from American collections. These are world-class exhibitions. Now, is this place, I'm always looking, I had uh, you know, small children once here in Salem who was always looking for something interesting and educational to do for them. Would this be the kind of place I could bring uh, young elementary students or uh, teenagers, and would there be things to, for them to uh, see and enjoy? Definitely. Sure. You can come for a tour with your school. You can be self-guided, or you can have a docent, which is a volunteer mm -hmm. tour guide. Um, we also have special events like family days, family activity days. Oh, that sounds wonderful. How, what are those like? Well, um, we usually have them once a year um, around a special exhibition. Sometimes around, um, like when we reopened one of our galleries, um, we had it around our Carl Hall Gallery, which is our Northwest Art Gallery. Um, but around our special exhibitions, it could be three or four art making activities where you come into the museum, everyone is welcome. Kids, adults, adults like it just as well. <laughs> um, spend some time in the gallery, and then you come back out to the lobby, and we have little activities set um, set up where you can create works of art inspired by what you saw in the gallery. And oh, that could that's be a by great process, idea! By um, theme, um, we also have occasionally storytelling attached to that. Or we have people who demonstrate. When we had a Turkish flat weave exhibition, we had a woman who set up a loom, and people got to do a line of the the weave in the in the rug. Oh, she that's was inspired. They were in the art yes. process. Yes. that's exact. Well, now the one that I got to see recently is the animal exhibit called a contemporary bestiary, and we're going to see a little bit of a video on that. And uh, did you get to see that exhibit? That sounds great. Let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed about uh, probably 20, 25 years ago that, that many Northwest artists um, over the years have chosen to depict um, animals as sort of a sustaining theme in their artwork. So uh, I decided that it would be fun to organize an exhibition on uh, uh, animals in contemporary art. We've got everything from um, horses, obviously, 
uh, to uh, bears, monkeys, uh, banana slugs, uh, pit bulls, birds, fish, snakes, really comp a real compendium of, uh, of animals. The horse is by an artist named Deborah Butterfield and she's a Montana artist who's been focusing on horses for probably the last uh, 30 years. She initially will just take pieces of scrap wood, she'll assemble the sculpture, and then she'll mark the individual pieces um, of wood and disassemble the sculpture. She'll take those pieces to her foundry in Walla Walla, and they will then in turn uh, cast those pieces in bronze. Those individual pieces will be uh, welded uh, together. Um, we were talking to one of the guys that helped deliver the piece, and he said that it takes uh, over a thousand hours of them working on one of these pieces just to complete it. The Mexican-American painter Alfredo Adeguin is another artist whose work is um, extremely exciting, very joyful. Uh, uh, Alfredo focuses on animal imagery in um, jungle-like settings and he's known as a pattern painter, so his works are just an explosion of uh, color and pattern and uh, animals. Wow! <laughs> how big is that horse? And how did you get it in the building? Uh, with great difficulty. With great difficulty. <laughs> and with great grace. And with great grace. This brings up a wonderful uh, aspect of being uh, a museum, that you do have these uh, people behind scenes making it all happen. Oh, absolutely. It, it truly takes, I like to say, it takes a village to, uh, <laughs> to, make, you know, to bring these exhibitions to fruition. You have some uh, rotating collections and you have some things that stay. Is there something really special? I know we don't have endless amounts of time, but something really special in the museum that stays there year round that you just treasure, that's your favorite piece when you go? Well, I think, you know, I think we all have our favorite pieces. Uh, my, I'm, a, I'm an ancient art historian and a classical archaeologist, so I'm immediately drawn to um, our ancient collection. We have a wonderful um, Egyptian relief from the 5th, 6th dynasty that was excavated from a tomb at Saqqara in Egypt that uh, I'm, quite, wow. I'm quite fond of. Yeah, um, it's my pro probably my favorite piece in our ancient collection. What about, How about you? you? Oh, I go more for the collections. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really have a, a good time with the um, the Asian collection. Mm -hmm. um, we have a wonderful Buddha head. Oh, Ooh. yes. And um, one of our oldest pieces is from China. And so that's there too. It's a little bit for everyone. Yes. Like. I want to have people know exactly how to get in touch with you. What are your hours and how can they learn more? Well, we're open uh, Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, mm -hmm. Sunday from 1 to 5. Closed on Mondays. Um, Tuesday is always a free day. Oh, Wonderful. nice to know that. I'm going to treat you to a trip to the museum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I can make it a free day, right? <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, generosity here. No, I want to go again. I love, I love every opportunity to see what you've got going. One of the things we want to do is always have you back when you have something exciting that you want to tell well, us. Well, we have a lot of exciting things yes. coming up. Can we up, find so. you on the web? Yes, the you web. Can. You can. <laughs> go to, you can go to uh, Willamette's website. Uh -huh which is willamette.edu, and then click on Arts, and H, uh, Halley Ford Museum Bar will pop right up. Great. You can Great. call us. Um, our telephone number is 503-370-6855. And Facebook. And oh, Facebook, oh. right? Yes. That's where yes. I'm well, where And I'm we at. always have, um, during a special exhibition, public tours on our Tuesday free day. So <gasps> always look for that. I won't be happy until everybody in the Willamette Valley has been at least once, once, and preferably more times, to your beautiful museum. Thank you Thank for you joining so us on Insight today. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having Wonderful us. Wonderful having you. Our pleasure. Thank you.